In this video, we will discuss why use MongoDB. Our first consideration is that MongoDB has all of the advantages mentioned for any NoSQL database. For example, MongoDB does not use the relational model. This means it does not have the overhead which is required to maintain complex relationships as seen with current relational database systems. MongoDB is designed to be distributed and scalable. This means that MongoDB can support massive amounts of data, which could include millions or billions of records, spread across multiple servers. Finally, MongoDB is open source. This means that anybody in the programming community can examine the source code for MongoDB and suggest changes. Another consideration, because the data structure for MongoDB is based on the JSON model, it fits nicely with your programming architecture. In this example, we have a class called user with an array of values which includes name, address, city, etc. When this is then converted over to a JSON format, it looks something like this. This information is then stored as a document in the MongoDB database. Another reason to use MongoDB is that it is extremely well supported. As you can see from the documentation page, MongoDB has drivers and libraries for C, C++, C Sharp, Go, Erlang, Java, JavaScript, Node.js, Perl, PHP, Python, Ruby, Scala, and a number of others. Because the basis of the MongoBD document is JSON, it fits better with object-oriented programming paradigms. Thus, you can create objects within your programming code, which are then easily converted to MongoDB documents, which are ultimately stored in a binary format referred to as BISON. MongoDB is extremely fast and scalable. The reason for this is that there's no need to store separate tables with complex relationships between tables. Instead, you can take the information and put them all in one place where they are needed. This process amusingly is called denormalization. This is not to say that you cannot have connections between different collections. This is possible in MongoDB using something called references. Another performance aspect is the concept of sharding. What happens is that you can create portions of the database and spread them between servers, which increases the overall capacity of MongoDB to massive proportions. As we've mentioned, there are many NoSQL databases available. There are a number of websites that provide good ranking systems. If we look at the typical top 10, you'll notice that MongoDB is typically around position number 6. So although the traditional relational database systems such as Oracle, MySQL, and Microsoft SQL Server are vastly more popular at this point, you'll notice that MongoDB is among the most popular of the NoSQL database systems. It has also gained quite a bit of popularity over time. To get an idea of some popular use cases for MongoDB, have a look at the mongodb.com website. If you look under Use Cases, you will see examples of Big Data, content management and delivery, mobile and social infrastructure, customer data management, and use as a data hub. In review, why use MongoDB? It has all of the advantages mentioned for NoSQL in other videos. It's non-relational, distributed, open source, and scalable. It works well in the clustered and cloud environments. It uses data modeling, which can match application objects within your programming code. MongoDB is well supported. It has drivers in a number of languages, including C, C++, C Sharp, and so on. MongoDB fits better with object-oriented programming. Your data structures can match the application. Because data is stored in a JSON format, it's fairly flexible. The data is then ultimately converted to a binary format called BISON for storage. MongoDB is extremely fast and scalable. There's no complex relationships between tables needed. Related data can be stored in one place. There's a concept called sharding, which allows MongoDB to increase substantially in capacity without any downtime. In terms of popularity, a number of websites put MongoDB solidly in the top 10. According to some, MongoDB is number 6. Common use cases for MongoDB include archiving, CMS, e-commerce analytics, social networking, session and user profile storage, content-driven websites, mobile apps, and data aggregation. 